Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am back. Sorry, I have been gone for so long. Why is my... I was about to say, why is my model so short? <laughs> I just, I just shrunk. <laughs> For no reason, I shrunk. I fixed that. I don't know why I shrunk. Anyways, time for DLC fun time, and please do not spoil it. I will literally have someone mute you, and if you continue doing it, I'll ban you. I, I do not want spoilers. That is a promise. Hello, hello. And Black. This is Jack. Oh, Mr. Jack. Sorry to bother you. Well, you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this town. Special collaboration between our academy and another school. And wouldn't you believe it, Aaron Brand, your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. You get to go study and experience the great outdoors off to the east in the land of Kitakan. It's a long trip to get this year's destination so we can so we can't send too many students this time. We really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of, of the participants. Come to school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course, you don't have to take part. But this kind of chance isn't likely to come again. So you really should give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. Okay, gotta make sure I have a one. Yes, I do. <laughs> We got the boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Lemon, as well as the Chonk. We have the Chonk. We, ca we can't forget about the Chonk. Do I have any experience candies or something like that? I have a lot. Let's get the Chonk up. We gotta make the chunk stronger. I got a, a pine cone husk. I tore the skin off of a pine cone. That's terrifying. <laughs> Rotom Sparks? How do I have Sparks of Rotom? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I got oh. I got Whiskers. bunch of stuff that I can sell that I'm going to because I know I'm gonna need a bunch of pokeballs for new Pokemon luckily I already had the shiny charm so I don't have to worry about filling out the pokedex how much food do I have that I never checked why am I this badly at checking my fucking bag? This bothers me. I hate seeing 
The fucking red shit. Yeah, shiny charm, there we go. I gotta get it all. Also, Bookworm, if you're here, say hello. Oh wait, actually entertain the stream real quick. I forgot to turn Scare Bright back on. Welcome if you're here, entertain the stream. Shut the fuck up, 682. Uh, few rewards, there we go, checkpoints, there we go. Uh, uh, no, wrong thing, yes. Scare Bright's back. Alright. I, I like how I, I get fully ready like 30 minutes ahead of time. Get myself ready. Yet I forget to do shit. <laughs> like every fucking time. and get in here. Oh wow, I already have a shit ton of Pokeballs. But, that's just... I should buy a lot of Quick Balls. I, I should have a, a huge investment of Quick Balls. Why do I not have an investment of Quick Balls? They're the most useful fucking balls. <laughs> Around. I need to get a bunch of balls. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be clipped. <laughs> that's 100% gonna be clipped. <laughs> Jesus, I don't need three! <laughs> I don't think I need 300 Ultra Balls. I think I'll grab 60 more Ultra Balls as well. And there we go. Now we're ready to take this on. I yeah, already have the downloadable content. That's already good. done. I've literally forgotten how to fly. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I am such a genius when it comes to streaming. <laughs> so I think I've made myself too big break you down a bit. There we go. Much better. Alright. Let's do this. is this bitch? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck? 
fuck are you? <laughs> hmm. Are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... Embra- uh, I'm pretty sure you would know, I'm the champion. I think most people in Paldea know. Aaron Bray, huh? Well, aren't you full of fire? You're positively dazzling. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case. Are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on, and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Blit. Briar. I'm so sorry I'm lit. Oh, hello to you too, Aaron Blit. What a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. I'm so- I'm sure I am happy for you. I wish I could go, too. Ahem. Huh? Oh. I'm sorry, Miss Bright. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jack so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. And I'll kick all your students' asses. Because they're weak and pathetic. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> it's, an, it's a school in Unova region, you know. Miss Briar helps set the cir circulum there. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. Yeah, I'll kick all your students' asses. That's why I'm here to collect... That's why I came here to collect you. Wait a minute, I just realized. Why would you ask the Pokemon Champion of the Paldea region to go with a bunch of school students? To, with the, don't champions have, like, a political job? Like, why am I going? <laughs> that makes no sense, but okay. <laughs> We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its prestige fields and rice patties. I don't know what the fuck a rice patty is, but okay. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same in energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though, I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes. Well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Or, oh wait, not Clavel. Not Clavicle. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applica applications. I trust I'll get a favorable response soon. Ah, well... Hmm. Oh, sorry, Aaron Black. I forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyway, a school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue to treasure on, on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokedex app. If you get out your phone. I have a cooler phone than you. <laughs> and there we go. All done. Mango. While wow, registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitagami too. 
Oh, uh, well, don't worry about a permission slip for the trip. I already clear things with your mom. You just go and have fun. Why were you alone with my mom? What did you do? Did you fuck my mom? <laughs> That's another clipable moment. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jack is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. What? You wanted to bang him too? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> now then, Aaron Blight. Oh, that's the wrong voice, goddamn. Now then, Aaron Blight. It's quite the trip to the land of Kitagami. I hope you don't mind flying. Or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? Set up for Kitagami, Aaron Bright. Yes. I'm about to beat the living shit out of all your students because they're pathetic and weak. They're probably also going to be under level 2. <laughs> Great. We'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you you all chosen for this trip by lottery, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I'm fully intent to having some fun of my own. While well, I'm at it, so just so you're aware. By the way, do you know the Violet book? Violet what now? I don't read. I'm a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> really? But as expect that's unexpected. I'm quite sure at least one copy was donated to this school. The author of the final book, Keith, was in fact an ancestor of mine. I even have his original manuscript. Look here, there are pages that are blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Disc Pokemon? Okay. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone viewed as a whole. It resembled a mysterious brilliant disc. I have tentatively named this creature Therapikos. I suspect that its very body is made of up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon dictated in these pages is called Therapikos. And a mysterious po it's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed them. It's my dream to find Trap Ghost and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. She's got a fat ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. There's Brad, we're ready to go. Oh wow, well, yeah, you guys definitely look like I'm about to beat all your asses. <laughs> Looks like the 
gang's all here. Alright everyone, to the land of Kitagami. I wonder if I can make my character in this game horrifying, like I did in Pokemon Sword. If I can, I'm going to do it. Don't doubt my power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then treasure of area zero. Okay. Part one, the teal mask. Finally here. <laughs> My butt is killing me under the, all those hours sitting first. The plane then that bus. <laughs> well, you all survived a long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way. All here. Yeah, no shit. And welcome to the land of Kitagami. This is the... This is a stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. It's actually my first time here too. Why, the rice fields are, really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Missouri Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Miss Briar, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. All that trouble must have given you a dose of motion sickness. Hmm. Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sight of those fields? Now, Aaron Bright, I have a little request for you. Could you run ahead to the community center in Missouri and let the caretaker know we're here? And I'll... It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students isn't feeling well. You could just say he isn't feeling well. You didn't have to say is feeling unwell. You could just... Okay. I can do that. Yeah, no problem. I can just do that. And go. I could literally just go to threshold raids over there. And not do what you want me to do. Because fuck you. <laughs> I knew I would be able to count on you. On your way then. I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. Yes! I'm finally free! Got two Pokeballs apparently. Oh my goodness! It's the cute little caterpillar! It's a cute little caterpillar! Luckily I got a good amount of these. Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> I have quick ball, bitch! Swaddle. Oh shit, I can't read. Okay, there we go. Swaddle, a sewing Pokemon. The bumps on their heads are sensory organs. When the Swaddle meet, they greet each other by rubbing these bumps together. Get a Yamma. And you're caught. Too easy. Yanma, the clear wing Pokemon. It can see in all directions without moving its big eyes. 
helping it spot both attackers and prey right away. Luciana, there we go. There's a new one. Oh, I see the little spider. I saw the little spider. I know I'm supposed to be going over to help the, help the kid with his potion sickness and everything, but I'm just going around capturing Pokemon I don't own. <laughs> Puchiana. The bite Pokemon. Puchianas pursued their prey in packs. Once the prey is exhausted, the pack finishes it off. But sometimes the prey retaliates and the pack flees. Yeah. Where's the spider? I saw the spider. I saw it pass by through here. Where the fuck you go? I saw your ass. There you are. It's a good thing I put an investment towards quick balls. <laughs> Spinarak, a string spit Pokemon. Some fishers weave its sturdy thread through into nets to catch fish Pokemon. Kind of cool. I already got a bunch of good Pokemon already. But get over here. I doubt I even have this little cute thing. I do not. Gotcha, bitch. Cutiefly, the bee fly Pokemon. Cutiefly sucks up pollen and nectar with its long proboscis. It stores any pollen it doesn't finish eating in its fur. Nasty plot. That's a terrible fucking Pokemon move. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything else that I don't already have. Bulldogs is not bad, but I have better moves. <laughs> I don't need to change any moves. My team is the ultimate team imaginable. There must be some new Pokemon around here. Maybe just these guys. Oh god. Okay, my game lagged for a second. There's no Pokemon in here. Wanna see a regular whooper? But I don't I? Don't I have a regular? 
regular Wilper? I'll see. No, we don't. Okay. Get in the ball, bitch. <laughs> Whopper, the water fish Pokemon. When it walks around on land, it coats its body with, with a slimy, poisonous film. I'm unintentionally filling out the Pokédex. Like, this isn't my intention. I'm just going around collecting shit, and if I see Pokemon I, I know I don't have... I don't think I have you, well. Get over here. I do not. Get over here, bitch. You are now mine. Corefish, the ruffian Pokemon. It can live in, in pure water where it doesn't need to, to compete with other water Pokemon for food. So its numbers have steadily increased. This is really cool. This one. Got that one. There's another core fish over there. I think that's all that is over there. Over here, there are any Pokeballs that I can take before anyone else can. <laughs> see. God damn it! Oh well, I guess I have to head over here. Who the fuck are them bitches? So, you're one of the students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Well, way cool. Hush, Kyria. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but we can't just let an outsider like you wander into Mizu Mizui Town. If you insist on coming in, You'll have to battle me first. C come on, sis. You just want to battle. Making this big fuss over nothing. I don't 
hold you to hush, Kiki. Just ignore my little brother. Ah, man. Alright, let's do this. Get in position. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Lemon's gonna take out your entire fucking team. Because you're a weak, pathetic bitch. How do you feel? Knowing all your Pokemon's about to die, bitch. I'm I'm gonna have a real good fun with you. What the fuck does that mean? Hold on, lady. Ah, um, hmm. <laughs> um, this is highly unfair. Welcome to Giddy Gami. Fierce first experience. Pretty to be dirt. Yeah, um. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, so you know about tight matchups, huh? No, your Pokemon is just weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lemon can handle all the Pokemon. Jerry! Hi! Who was that weird lady? I don't know, but as soon as I came into the town, she says, Oh, yeah, you're not allowed in the town till uh, you fight me. Oh, this is a different form to a. Uh, the poltergeist. If it'll show it, like, goddamn, Jerry can't see it. I saw. Oh, you did? Okay. Then, uh, I'm just gonna murder it with, uh, Thunderfang, because it's level 60. I think it's and... a tiny teapot. Oh, wow, it's somehow survived. You, you don't know that Pokemon well, do you? <laughs> okay, now this is just sad. This is sad. Oh my god. Sure. I'm gonna point out that Lemon is at level 100. No, that's not what I said. This is sad. It... So, Paralysis is when it says, like, it's paralyzed, it can't be able to move. Then it stated, it pulled the guy's flinch and couldn't use its move. <laughs> Twice! It couldn't use its move. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did catch her. Okay, remember oh. that uh, Pokemon well? Let me look them up very quickly. I believe that one is. Uh... I pressed pause, you fucking shit! It, it's one of the new Pokemon, it's a new regional form. I think it's a ghost type, but I just want to beat all of them with lemon, because lemon. <laughs> it, it is, and it's not new, and it's technically, uh, still the Pulpy guy. Just oh. a different form of it. Yeah. And the Pulpy guy, as far as I remember, which is why I was looking it up, I believe it's like, uh... Ghost and, uh, stone or something. No, it's just ghost! Oh! Yeah, lady, did you really think you can beat Lemon? Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> no one can defeat the Lemon. <laughs> Except fairies. And ice types. <laughs> and some dragons. <laughs> Other than that, no one can defeat Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, who are you? Yeah, hey, give me your money. <laughs> Buzzes, 
You went and beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. You have a level 100 Pokemon. <laughs> Fine. I guess you pass. Barely. Bitch, not only do I have level 100 Pokemon, but I'm the Pokemon champion, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Seems I've got no choice. I let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... But shut the fuck up, I'm not following you. Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki. We're out of here. But I... Wait up, sis. Okay, so I guess saying we're having a new team. Team. Oh, okay. Because they wanted me to become a grunt, but uh, the only way I would join their organization is, is if I'm the leader. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a fucking grunt. <laughs> Don't join an evil organization as a whole. Be a good woman, not an evil woman. No. <laughs> Right! <laughs> Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Missouri Town. And a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group doing your visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now, were they? I'm gonna be a little shit, yes. <laughs> I hardly know what to do with the two of them. Especially that Carmine. Always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she, if she gave you a hard time. Not really, I kicked her ass. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop. I better get over there and give them a hand so they can make it into town. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in and at that community center. We'll catch up with you soon. Alright, now... I should be able to show all the Pokemon I just recently caught. Yep, there we go. I can't. Alright, let's see. Where did they... I have no idea where they got thrown. Oh, wait. Now I see them. So, I got... Suwaddle. The cute little adorable bugger. The caterpillar. I got... Yanma. The asshole. The asshole. <laughs> you have no idea how those how annoying those are in Pokemon Go. Ah. Uh, Pooch Diana. Uh, Spood. <laughs> hey, that is that is not a hundred percent spider. It evolves into a water bug. No, that's not that. <laughs> Wait, that's. That's Dew Spider. This is Spinarak. <laughs> oh. <okay. laughs> what you you were thinking of Dew Spider. <laughs> Don't they evolve into something like that? Let me let me look at them. They evolve into the Red Spider. With the thing that has a skull on its butt or something like that. I just looked it up, and Arados is not a spider. I do call that a spider. Fair. Alright. One, it, it, All that's... Right. Spiders don't have arms on their butt. <laughs> Fair. They do not have a horn. Yeah. It, I'm not sure what it is. But it is not a spider. Yeah. 
Next Pokemon. This was hard to find because it was tiny as shit. A uh, cutie fly. Very cute. Uh, and a regular whooper. Nice. And the final one. Uh, a Pokemon that destroys ecosystems. Corfish. Wait, what? Oh yeah, no, it's been stated in Pokedex entries that this this thing's highly invasive in most countries in the Pokemon world. <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love you, but you're a little shit. Yeah. People you up. Yeah, see, the thing is, we actually don't know what the original Corefish looked like. Because this is an evolved version, you know how... It, it adapted, yeah. yeah. So we don't know what the original corefish looked like. You can't go back in time and look at the original. No, they've never made it. Damn. I'm also gonna need to, to get rid of false swipe for the moment. I really do like. Lemon stats, like they're almost maxed out. Wait, you can max out further than level 100? Well, no, the stats right here. You know, a full EV and IV thing would have this completely filled. That little oh. hexagon thing. Yeah, you can see it's, it's pretty filled. Yeah? Lemon's a beast. What move do I want to get back? We'll probably get Crunch back to deal with the ghost motherfucker. So, and boom! Oh, who? Look, who hoot! Even though it looks like there's only one leg, there's technically two legs. Wait, what? Oh yeah, no, that's in the Pokedex too. Like, it, it looks like there's only one leg, but there's, but the uh, the oh wait, but the other leg is actually hidden in its body. It just stands I on one. Bullshit! I call bullshit. <laughs> it's stated in the Pokedex. It has two legs. <laughs> I don't care what it says. I call bullshit. <laughs> Don't worry. It also, says, it also says Magic Carp can jump over a mountain, but we've never fucking seen that. Yeah. Yet. I'll never see that. <laughs> Possibly. Is that Poss woman just pop out of a 70s villain like commercial? She's a, she's from Unova Academy. Uh, Blue ba I think they call it Blueberry Academy. But why does she look like a villain from one of those old animes in the 70s and 80s? How do I know? <laughs> look, doesn't she look like one? I mean, yeah. Food. Doesn't yeah. she? You're, you're too dead? Yeah. Too dead to comment on her spoof? Okay. Anyways. This way, everyone. Alright. Uh, oh, oh, Aaron Bright, I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. My little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitagami. Possibly. The plan is have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together. But it turns out this space is going to be all for you, our visitors from Yuva Academy. Oh right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? So, in you come, don't be shy. The 
Come on, everyone. Pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud using the washing station by the door. Oh, there's a chingling piñata thing there. And I, is it a piñata or is it like a weird food thing? I don't know. Like it, it looks like a piñata, but I can also see food. It doesn't really look quite like a piñata to me because uh. if you think about it, why would a piñata look like it can't be hoisted up? A piñata needs to be able to come off plates. That looks like it would fall apart if you picked it up. Fair. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. It's here in the lounge you can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. Oh, well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria, and toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. We've got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that about covers everything. But if you run to any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to ask our fine staff at the desk. Thank you for the tour, sir. Alright kids, do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care for of us? Thanks for having, having us. Jesus, everyone else just- I just say it normally. Everyone else just shouts the shit. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, we're indoors, you don't have to shout. <laughs> bunch of well-mannered students. I can already tell you're going to be wonderful visitors. So you can think of this place as your own home, away from home, and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. Not really. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner then call it a night? We've got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you've brought your appetites. Alright. Like, my character's not even excited at all. They just stood there while everyone else was jumping. <laughs> They're like, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for dinner. Your character's acting normal. Yeah, everyone else is not. <laughs> You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center. But remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. Can I leave the community center is the question. Probably best not to wander alone at night in an unfamiliar place. I have level 100 Pokemon! Right, I'm going to comment that Pokemon... <laughs> Maybe, like, this game of Pokemon may be in Italy, technically, but it's technically Japan, Italy. <laughs> and in Japan, they don't like little kids to wander outside at night. You are a child in this world. Well, I'm also the champion. <laughs> yes, you can Wait. beat the shit out of anyone who tries to attack you. There actually is one thing that's quite interesting. Uh, champions have a, a political um, stuff to do. Like, they're the last line of defense. No, they're the main line of defense for a country if it goes in danger. Huh. Yeah. Th think about that. 
children becoming the main line of defense for a country. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We, we, you've never thought about that, have you? <laughs> Why did you say it out loud? <laughs> Imagine if that was like in real life. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Good morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? No shit, I have narcolepsy. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Starting My character to... doesn't have narcolepsy. Yet. What's that even mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Oh, let's see. The the nice old child and uh, the piece of shit I beat the shit out of. <laughs> Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all of you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. Hee <laughs> hee. I, I, I'm Kieran. Carmining Karen actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. No thanks. And you two had better be of real help, you hear me. Hi, hi. Right. Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? I don't care, let me leave. This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we'll have you split into pairs, then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitagami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitagami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. And prove you completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of, of the three signboards. Complete your mission. The self-guided tour of Kitagami. Learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Wonderful. What an innovative idea for a group activity. I don't care. I want to capture more Pokemon. Let me leave. <laughs> oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. What? Uh, I got a Roto stick? I don't like the implication of that word. <laughs> I it's like a cell phone stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, yeah, it's one of those... It's, it's a cell phone stick. I, I see them as stupid. <laughs> well, now you have to use them. I hate it. Am I the only one who thinks they're stupid? No. Okay. <laughs> I hear these things. All the things are all the range in the big cities. Use them when you take the those photos. How about I just have my Pokemon hold the fucking phone? 